Well, good morning. Welcome down to Windy Hill Kennel. This is the behind the scenes version this morning. So this is Anna's kids. They're laying here under a hot infrared heater. Uh, enjoying this. This would be a really great place to take a nap. So Anna, quit washing my clothes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through these guys. I'm gonna pick them up and show them to you. I'm gonna wake them up and they're gonna cry and Anna's gonna get in this box and we're not gonna have enough room. So we're hoping that, do it. Anna, quit licking my shirt. No, no, not lick my face. All right, so we're gonna start with my closest victim. So this is puppy number, and these guys, if you're seeing these on YouTube, these are sold. 0439 is the microchip. This is a male. This is the one that has the little bit of a darker marking. It's got the nice colors up the legs. He says, what are you doing to me? He's got a little bit of white on the chest, not much, and a little bit of a white goatee. Their eyes are not open yet. He says, I'm going to have a fit. Let me weigh in for you. So this morning he is 12.8 ounces. He's got a really cute face, but no eyeballs yet. So once their eyes open, I will take new pictures. I know, Anna, it's fine. You're fine. He'll be fine. So this one, I think, is the little guy. Yep, this is the little male. This one's the one that has the bright face. And I know there's a couple little girls that are waiting on him like crazy, so they're gonna watch everything I do with their baby. He's got white on his chest. He's got white chin. He's got tail's been docked. He's still got his band on his tail, which will come off this week. Little tiny bit of white on the toes. Nice black coat on the back. And just a really, really pretty baby. He's got the brown in the ears. Are you stressing back here, Anna? I know, I see you. All right, so he is 10.2 ounces today. All right, let's stick him in here. So we got the girls left, so that'll be easy. So did you move them in? Nope, this is a girl. Man, Anna, this is hot under here. I'm gonna turn your heat down, Anna. This is 0440. I don't know if I gave you the microchip on this little squirt or not. 0438 is the little guy. So this one is, and I blicked it off. This is female number 0440. And she's also marked just the same. She's got a little bit, oh, your eyeballs are open. Oh my goodness, you got peepers open? Let me see, oh, both peepers are open. All right, let me sit up here and hold her up for Vanessa to get you an eyeball picture. So I didn't think anybody had their eyes open in here, but she does. See, I got big bright eyes. Yeah, I got bright eyes. Well, that means they should all open up really soon in the next day or so. 12.6 ounces, and when they do, we'll get you new pictures. Yes, you got bright eyeballs. They're gonna look blue <clears throat> when you first see them, but they're not. It's because the light reflects off the pupil and makes them look blue. Yes, you're the first one to get your eyeballs open. Are you thinking about jumping in there? Can you give me one more? Oh, don't lick my face. Ugh. You lick everybody's butts. Don't lick my face. So this is the other female. Get your eyes out. Oh, I see cracks in those eyes. So the girls have got their eyes open before the boys do. This is 0441. She's the one with the bright coloring. She's got all the trim, same as everybody else. If I can wake her up here, can you wake up? Let's wake up. Let me be a little bit. Let's pet ya, get you awake. Can you open them eyes? No. So I don't know if you can see it, but they got little teeny tiny, oh, she says I'm sleepy. They got little tiny slits in them. So they're just starting to crack open. Probably tomorrow they'll be open. And then as soon as the Slowpoke boys get theirs open, we will get you some new pictures. All right, let's see, you are 13.4. She's the biggest one in the litter. All right, well, that's pretty cool. Everybody's finally getting their eyeballs open. Yes, and your tongue's sticking out. See, I got your baby. I know, you need a face job. You need your hair washed. Oh, they found out you're there. She smelled you. I know, you wanna get in? You can get in now. Come on, you want to get in? Come on. I don't blame you. That, that heater's got to get turned down. Holy schmoly. That's a hot heater. I know. She's looking for you. She knows you're out here. Come here. Come here, Anna. Come here, Anna. Wake up. Come on, jump, jump, jump. There you go. There's your babies. There's your babies. I know, fatty. This will be Anna's last litter. Anna had to have a C-section. 
So once they have a C-section, I gotta turn this heater down. Holy schmoly, we're turning your heater down. Once they have a C-section, I do not ever breed them again. Uh, and she's at that retirement age anyway. We usually retire everybody at five. Look at your face. Yes, you have, you have a bad hair day going on here, girl. We need to give you a bath. I know, and you got a goober in. I've been picking goobers out of everybody's eyes today. Your hair's in your eyes. I know, we need a bath. But they're doing, hey, Munchkin, wake up. Mom's in here. Everybody wake up. Everybody wake up. What are they doing? I don't have your babies. No, look, check my hand. No baby. No baby. Can you lay down in here? Let me move everybody over. Let's roll them over here. No, don't lick my face. I hate to be licked. I know what she does with that mouth. Lay down here. There you go. You're okay. Pull your leg out. That does not look comfortable. There, we got it. There you go. Now you're down. Now the kids are all going to find you. Yeah. I turned your heater off, though. You're not going to get so hot this time. Yeah. They don't miss any meals, that's for sure. See, I'm a good mommy. Yeah, I'm a good mommy. I know. They're getting nice and fat. When they get... Uh, They'll get their two-week worming once their eyeballs get open. Um, they'll get their toenails trimmed later this week. They'll get a new bath this week. Once their eyes open, they get their first bath. And then they start getting a bath every week. So get some used to being groomed. Um, I know. Don't lick me. Don't lick me. Nope, don't lick me. They'll get their first puppy shot at six weeks old. They'll get their second shot at nine weeks old. So they're doing great. If the, uh, at the time you guys are coming to pick up, if dog food is still an issue, we did buy an extra ton of dog food. So I have 40 extra bags. So you're welcome to purchase a bag from us if you'd like. Well, we have 35 pound bags of the same food the moms have been on. We feed high standard, 30% protein, 20% fat. It's a pumpkin base. And uh, it is not a grain-free, I do not feed grain-free anymore. Grain-free has been found to possibly cause heart problems in dogs as they age. And we were having trouble with it because of the estrogen in the peas and lentils and garbanzo beans and all that. It has flavoestrogens in it. So we did switch. We went back to the old-fashioned dog, dog food we used to be on. We have fed high standard for years. My husband used to manage a feed mill. I loved it then, but I switched because I thought green free was what I should feed. So um, Ohio State University actually told us we should get off of it. So that's why we switched back to our old dog food and we're very pleased with it. So if you want a bag, just keep them on the same thing when you're here. It's $35 a bag for a 35 pound bag. Um, and if dog food and this coronavirus thing is still not under control, um, we have got a, a a guide plan in place for puppy pickup. It will not be our normal puppy pickup, unfortunately, but we'll send you videos out before you come. You'll be able to see everything on the videos that we will tell you. In fact, I probably will try and ship those out to you this week since this litter is sold. So check your emails this week for me, uh, an email from me. You'll get two emails. One has all the videos on it. The other one has your vitamin information that they will be on it starting about three weeks. So um, watch those videos if you would. And you, it's going to tell you everything I would tell you if you're coming here on a normal pickup day so that you know everything that we're going to tell you. And then that way you can call me. We can go over any questions you have. The day of pickup when you come, you'll be here about five minutes, maybe seven minutes tops. Um, we will not be near you. We will have everything set up in a small area that has been sanitized and cleaned, your paperwork. Uh, your puppy will be there in a small crate next to that. Um, and if it's nice, we're going to do it outside. That's even better. So um, we'll just kind of play it by ear. But do know that we have plans in place to keep you safe as well as us safe. And if our family would to, were to come down with uh, the virus, I would just call off all pickups until um, everybody was well and everything was good. But uh, Lord willing, we don't end up that way. Um, we're kind of on a a self-imposed lockdown around here. Vanessa just lives about 15 minutes from me and she lives by herself. So it's, she comes here and goes home and here and goes home. 
And if it gets really bad, she may move in my second house in the basement. But, uh, so we are making plans for uh, pickups and to make them safe for you as well for us. So I hope you've enjoyed your video and behind the scenes down here where she's at in the kennel and all the banging you hear, all the moms have spring-loaded doors, which Vanessa can show you what it looks like behind me. So they can go out and the door slams behind them. So that's what all the banging is. It's the moms with their doors down here. So have a good one. I hope you enjoyed their video and give me a call if you have any questions and we'll get you some pictures later this week when the other two get their eyes open. Talk to you later.